All right, what's good YouTube? Today I wanted to basically detail and break down everything that went into the veto process in our COD Champs victory the other day against New York. Uh, this is a really, really expensive veto process, obviously, because it's a best of nine COD Champs grand finals, just a little bit different from the other grand finals uh, that were best of seven throughout the years. So I'll basically go through every part of the process itself and detail, you know, what was going through our minds uh, with these, you know, picks and how it was actually going through. It was kind of self explanatory you know going into the Sunday uh, I'm pretty sure they knew the exact order of what the maps were gonna be as well just because of the tendencies that we were doing and the tendencies that they had in their maps as well so let's get right into it so the first thing to do in this veto process is to determine which team is team A and team B obviously us coming from winners bracket to get those advantages of the side picks and the map order picks uh, we pick team A so that's uh, what you have over here we pick team A that means uh, we are going to get our three vetoes versus the other team uh, obviously Obviously, New York only gets a hard point veto in this best of nine. So uh, to first start off with the hard point vetoes, obviously we veto Vista here. Uh, this was kind of a main staple veto for us throughout the entirety of the tournament. You know, in our scrims, it wasn't the most comfortable for us, but we were still improving on it. Uh, it was just, you know, the fact that a lot of the teams that we played, like LAT and New York, uh, both were decent Vista teams. And, you know, it, New York itself, Vista was like one of their comfort picks. So there was no reason for us to play it. And uh, for them, they obviously veto vetoed six star six star was obviously one of the more important maps for us in hardpoint uh, we were really really good on it I think we only lost it once in an official match to I believe Toronto uh, so obviously that was going to be their uh, you know same hardpoint veto from the the winners finals so uh, it's all basically the same vetoes for us in the in the winners finals to the grand finals uh, we veto high rise here this is actually our veto um, they they screwed up the logo in this graphic but uh, this should be you know an optic Texas veto because we didn't want to play them on high rise search they they're a really good high rise search team throughout the entirety of the year. Uh, you know, they were actually coming off of, I believe, just one in four in the last stage, but we knew that they were still a good search team on that map specifically. And for us, you know, we had beaten LAG on it, but uh, we had lost to LAT uh, in a fashion where they had came back on us. So, uh, you know, it was a map where we were getting comfortable on, but we were still relying on specific individual plays for us to uh, win the map. So we wanted to put our eggs in the basket of maps that were were going to be more team oriented for us and how we were wanting to play. Um, and then going on to the last veto of the entirety of this best of nine was the high rise control. You know, this was just, you know, obviously New York loving high rise control throughout the entire year. Uh, us, you know, we were trying to get good on it throughout the entire year. Uh, we did in some moments, but we just knew going into this specific series, Karachi and Invasion for us were just more maps that we could get uh, a lot of control on compared to high rise. You know, high rise, we felt if we had one, three or four down, we could just completely lose a round. Uh, and while you know, Karachi and Invasion, we were much more uh, able to get super controlled setups in what we were wanting to do in those controls. So that's why we figured we'd veto high rise, get those other two controls in the series. So moving on to the order of the map. So uh, let's go with the hard points first. Obviously, we have map one here, map four here, and then map eight. So uh, map one was our pick. You know, a lot of people were asking, you know, why didn't we pick sub base map one? We were so good at it throughout the entirety of the year. But to be honest, we did have that 12 and two record, but the map did change halfway like through the year with the spawn change. And honestly, you know, just leading up into the champs, we were still like somewhat comfortable on it, but compared to Karachi, Rio and Six Star, uh, it was just on, you know, another level for those maps for us specifically. So we were figured, you know, at least for the map one, we might as well get Karachi or Rio. And for us, it was going to be Karachi specifically against New York because New York, you know, Rio was their comfort pick they had beat us in on Rio you know the previous series and we had beat them on Karachi uh, in the previous series you know even though we had the comeback we uh, throughout the entirety of the year were you know super good on Karachi against them specifically you know whether in scrims and I believe in matches as well so for us a Karachi hard point uh, was going to be that map one because you know we were going to start bad sign on it and that's that was another thing for sub base you know if we were picked at map one uh, we were going to get bad side on sub base and sub base was one of the more notorious bad sides so you know we'd figured uh, we'd pick Karachi and then we'd get good side Rio because we knew that they would pick Rio map four because you know that was more their comfort picks and you kind of want to stack the beginning of the series with your picks that you want 
And then lastly, for map eight, we would get sub base as the remainder and get good side for that. So, uh, you know, it didn't end up going towards that map eight, but if we did have that map eight, it would be good side sub base for us. So we start off with the map one Karachi. Obviously, you know, we retooled it a little bit going into champs. It was our veto throughout a good part of the year for hard point, but we did figure out a lot of what we wanted to do uh, for P2 to P3, but also for like P4 to P5. Uh, those two specific chains were the ones that we wanted to focus on the most and we were able to fix that uh, really well because, um, you know, Karachi was that map for us specifically against New York uh, that we were able to get those, you know, game one victories on. So that was really, really important for us. So, uh, you know, now let, let's go over to the searches. Uh, this is map two, uh, map five, and then uh, map seven and map nine. So. Map two was Karachi SD. This was their pick. Obviously, after they had lost to us on Invasion Map Five in the previous series, they weren't going to pick Invasion for themselves. And, you know, they could have picked six star against us, but we also had a pretty good showing on six star versus them. I believe we were up 5 3 uh, when they ended up coming back on us. So I, I believe we were actually playing that six star pretty well. There were just some really bad uh, mental lapses in the final few rounds, which led the, to us losing in the round 11. But, you know, the Karachi SD was something that they had played against Toronto in the previous series and were looking pretty comfortable on it, especially with that wall bang that they had figured out. So we knew that that was going to be uh, the map two for this series. And and that was another map that we had like kind of fully retooled after losing it a bunch in you know game fives in those qualifiers. And you know that was just a really big map for us to you know settle in on and get back to where we were you know at the beginning of the year on it when we were on such a you know big winning streak on that. So uh, that was a map two. Map five obviously was going to be our pick for the invasion. We were really comfortable on it throughout the entirety of the year. You know we did lose to them in a round eleven in major four qualifiers and also to Miami uh, at the major four tournament but we still knew that it was a really comfortable map for us so we you know looked at a few things game planned against you know new york specifically on this map because we knew we were going to play it against them because it was a comfort you know map for them as well and they had that real s d auto veto so we knew that we were going to be playing it against them and uh, you know we just really game planned hard against them especially in the winners finals and also going into the grand finals uh, because they changed a little bit of what they were doing uh, when they played Toronto and beat them going into Grand Finals. So uh, we looked at Invasion s &D really, really hard because especially against New York, that was going to be played. Then moving over to Map 7, obviously it was going to be their pick, six star s &D, uh, instead of Rio s &D, obviously because Rio s &D was kind of like their auto veto throughout the entire year of the year. So uh, six star was going to be that Map 7. Obviously they beat us on it. You know, we had a pretty good lead. I think it was 5-3 and uh, they ended up coming back on us. So that was that map seven if we ended up getting to it, but we ended up finishing the series. Obviously, you guys know in a 5-1 fashion with that invasion control. Uh, and then lastly, it was going to be map nine, Rio s &D. This would have been a really, really funny game nine because obviously it was an auto veto for basically both of us uh, throughout the entirety of the year. We would just never play it, either us. And uh, it would have been a really, really big bang out Rio s &D game nine if it went all the way the distance. Uh, and it would have been pretty funny because just neither of us, you know, really wanted to play that map in general throughout the entirety of the year. So uh, going into uh, the searches, you know, we really worked a lot going into champs. You know, we obviously were on that 12 game losing streak. Uh, it was just unacceptable from our, our point. So we retooled a lot of what we wanted to do. And for us, you know, a really big thing was that round 11 Karachi s and I think that gave us the momentum going into the rest of the series. And then we knew going to that Invasion s and we were really uh, prepared for it. And, you know, both of those s and winning them was uh, really, really crucial against New York, who's, you know, really good at s and uh, just in general. So those were the, the search picks. And then obviously Karachi and Invasion Control were both gonna be played. These were both maps that we were looking pretty good at towards the end of the year. We actually ended up losing the Karachi Control, which was New York's veto against us in the winner's finals. Um, the only surprise I had in this map set was I thought it was actually going to be Invasion Control over here. I thought they would re, uh, you know, play us on that map three rather than, you know, going into the Karachi, which they had vetoed against us. But uh, in my opinion, they were probably just looking for a different look and they were probably still confident confident in, in Karachi uh, at the moment. So they, you know, they had beat it against us in the winner's finals, thinking that they can, you know, take us on the invasion, uh, but they'd figured they'd stack the Karachi uh, with this grand finals. They, even though they vetoed against us uh, in the winner's finals, they did look good on it. And uh, that was the map that they were able to take on us in the grand finals. And then lastly, 
obviously the invasion control that's what we end off on uh, it was a, a really good control for us throughout the entirety of the year we were one of the best or maybe the best offensive team in the game on this map specifically and it was super fitting that you know in that map six to win the series 5-1 we win on a round five offensive victory which is on the you know the map that was the most defensively sided for control so winning it off on the offense in that map was uh, super, super fitting throughout the entirety of the year. So that basically details the entirety of the veto process, kind of what we were thinking, what they were thinking. You know, both teams basically knew what the maps and the order was going to be. You know, the, honestly, to me, the only thing that was, um, you know, up in the air was whether they would pick Karachi or Invasion Control for that map three. Everything else was pretty much, you know, both teams knew going into it. So that was basically the entirety of the veto process. Hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown for you guys uh, to kind of give you a background, you know, detailed explanation of what's going on through, you know, teens' mind, especially going to a best of nine grand finals where you're playing literally nine out of the 13 maps. Uh, you know, it can be a long series if it goes the distance. Uh, unfortunately for us, we finished it pretty quick before we had to get into some of these other maps. But, you know, honestly, it was a really, really fun series for us, especially because we won. But, you know, I just wanted to make sure that you guys had some insight on what it goes through on the back end of this. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.